Have you ever heard the story of the epic battle between the Archangel Michael and Satan himself? It is a story that has thrilled believers for centuries, and at its heart lies a mystery that has not yet been fully resolved. This story is directly related to the body of Moses, the great prophet and leader of the Israelites, and to the fierce struggle that took place between Michael and Satan for the place of his burial. While the details of this event are shrouded in mystery, its implications have left deep imprints in excited researchers and believers alike for generations. Join us as we explore the exciting story of the battle between Michael and Satan over the body of Moses, revealing the secrets and wisdom it contains. The story of Michael's dispute with Satan over the body of Moses is found in the book of Jude, which is a short letter written by a follower of Jesus to a group of believers in the early church. The letter contains warnings about false teachers and encourages believers to remain faithful to the truth. In Jude chapter 1 verse 9, the author briefly mentions at an event that occurs nowhere else in the Bible. Michael and Satan arguing over the body of Moses. But the archangel Michael, when he was arguing with the devil about the body of Moses, did not dare to pronounce against him a blasphemous verdict, but said, May God rebuke you. Despite the brevity of the passage, this event has attracted the attention of believers for centuries, and many have tried to uncover its meaning and importance. The context surrounding it is no less important as it sheds light on Michael's character and role as an archangel. Also, the story of Moses' death and his burial place has its own significance as it emphasizes the importance of honoring God and not idolizing holy places. The Controversy Over the Body of Moses the laconic mention of the event has led to much speculation among believers as to what actually happened. Some suggest that Satan wanted to turn the burial place of Moses into a shrine, which in turn would lead the Israelites to idolatry. This theory is supported by the fact there are numerous examples in the Old Testament of the Israelites turning to idol worship, and the importance of avoiding this type of behavior is emphasized throughout the Bible. Another theory is that Satan wanted to prevent Moses' body from being properly buried and honored, which would be a way to dishonor Moses and to undermine the faith of the Israelites. This theory is also supported by the fact that throughout the Bible, proper burial and honoring of the dead is considered very important. Regardless of the exact reason for the dispute, the passage makes it clear that Michael and Satan were engaged in a fierce spiritual battle over the body of the great prophet and leader of the Israelites. This battle highlights the reality of spiritual warfare and the importance of believers standing firm against the enemy's attacks. To honor God and not allow sacred places or objects to become idols. While we may never know the full extent of what happened during this event, its implications are profound as we can see are a gateway to broader themes such as faith and spiritual warfare that are major themes throughout the Bible. As we continue to explore the story of Michael and Satan's struggle over the body of Moses, it's time to remind you that you can support us by subscribing to our channel. The history of this dispute also sheds light on the significance and role of Michael as an archangel. In the Bible, Michael is depicted as a mighty warrior angel who fights against evil and protects God's people. In the book of Daniel, he's described as the Prince of Israel, and in Revelation chapter 12, verses 7 through 9, he is shown as the leader of the heavenly armies against the forces of Satan. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels went out to fight against the dragon, and the dragon made war with his angels. However, they did not overcome, nor was a place found for them in heaven. And the great serpent was cast down, that serpent of old, which is called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole universe. He was cast down to the earth. Cast down was he and his angels with him. 
However, despite his great power and authority, Michael does not dare to act alone. In Jude chapter 1 verse 9, we see him submitting to God's authority and simply saying to Satan, The Lord reproves you. This shows Michael's deep respect and submission to God, even amid a fierce battle. This obedience is an important lesson for believers today. It serves as a reminder that even when faced with trials and spiritual battles, they must rely on God's strength and guidance. The situation also serves as a reminder of the importance of humility and submission to God's authority, even when it seems difficult or counterintuitive. The Death of Moses The death of Moses is a significant event in the Bible, not only because of his status as a revered leader of the Israelites, but also because it is directly related to the controversy that took place over his body. According to Deuteronomy 34, Moses died at the age of 120, shortly after God showed him the Promised Land. Although he was not allowed to enter the land itself, he was able to view it from afar before he died. Then Moses went up from the fields of Moab to Mount Nebu, to the top of the Fasga, which is opposite Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead as far as Dan, all the land of Nephtala, the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah as far as the Western Sea. And the Lord said to him, This is the land for which I swear to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, saying, I will give it to your offspring. I made you see it with your eyes, but you will not pass through it. And so the Lord's servant Moses died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. God personally buries Moses in an unknown location, and Michael and Satan begin a dispute over his body. This suggests that Moses was highly respected and honored even in death, and that his burial was of great importance to the people of Israel. Moses was not just an ordinary leader, but a prophet and messenger of God. His life and teachings are central to the faith of both Jews and Christians, and his legacy has endured for thousands of years. As we reflect on the story of Moses' death and his dispute over his body, we are reminded of the importance of honoring and respecting those who came before us. The story seems to be a reminder of the power of spiritual struggle and the need to remain steadfast in our principles, even in the face of opposition and adversity. One of the most intriguing aspects of the account of Moses' death is the mystery surrounding his burial site. According to Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 6, God personally buried Moses in an unknown place, and to this day, no one knows where his burial place is. And the Lord buried him in the valley in the land of Moab, opposite Beth Figor, and to this day, no one knows where his grave is. At first glance, this secret may seem puzzling, but it actually serves at an important purpose. If the burial site of Moses was known, it is very possible that people would have turned it into a shrine or place of worship, potentially leading to idolatry and the worship of Moses himself. As the spiritual leader of the Israelites, Michael was aware of this danger and fought to keep the burial site a secret. This symbolizes a hidden lesson about the importance of safeguarding spiritual practices and beliefs and the need to remain vigilant against the influence of false idols and other forms of spiritual deception. In addition to the secrecy surrounding the burial place emphasizes the importance of honor and respect for the deceased. By keeping this place hidden, God ensured that Moses' legacy would not be tarnished by the veneration of his physical remains, but would be remembered for his teachings and leadership. One of the most remarkable aspects of Michael's character is his complete submission to God. Throughout the Bible, he is shown to be completely obedient to God's will, never daring to act or speak on his own authority. This humility and obedience are seen as a powerful example addressed to believers that they should follow in their lives. The theme of submission is echoed throughout the Bible, 
with numerous passages emphasizing the importance of surrendering to God's will. In James chapter 4, verse 7, believers are instructed to obey God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. This passage emphasizes the connection between obedience to God and victory over evil, illustrating the importance of humility and obedience in seeking spiritual truth. Submission to God's Authority In Daniel chapter 10, verse 21, Michael is called the guardian of the people of Israel. The archangel is represented as a warrior angel. He is depicted as a powerful being who confronts evil spirits and principalities. In the case of Michael, although he is an archangel, he could fight Satan in his own power. He chooses to speak for the Lord and leave all reproof to God. This shows that even the most powerful beings in the spiritual realm recognize the need to obey God. The example of the Archangel Michael serves as a reminder that submission to God's authority does not take away an individual's own power, purpose, or worth. On the contrary, it allows one to act in the fullness of his power and to live according to his will. The most interesting fact is that the passage composed of only a few words in the story of this dispute about the body of Moses and the role of the Archangel Michael carries all these messages. Just one sentence that has served for centuries as a powerful lesson in submission to God's authority. Michael's example teaches believers that even the most powerful beings in the spiritual realm are subject to God's will and believers should follow their example. The Bible is a book with many hidden and coded messages subject to different interpretations. Perhaps the most fascinating thing about such writings is the fact that sometimes just one line can carry one of the most important, life-changing messages of the believer. If you like this video, support us by subscribing to the channel and leaving a comment.